Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for your polymer industry. So here I am the owner of a polymer business and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is received automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Fably Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Google Sheets. So to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video we are going to learn how to add your Facebook leads details to your Google Sheets as a new row for a polymer business. So here I am an owner of a polymer business named as Polycrafters and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is received automatically the data of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect where you can see two options sign in and sign up free. If you are a new user click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you are an existing user click on sign in. Here I am an existing user so I am clicking on sign in. After signing in you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect our applications I am going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow I am going to click on this create workflow. Here in this create workflow dialog box we need to give a name to our workflow. Here I am giving the name as Polycrafters Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. And now I am going to select my folder as Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheet. You can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. Now I am going to click on this create. Now here in this workflow window you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now to begin with our automation let's set up our trigger. Here I am going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instance so that whenever a new lead is generated instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. Now to connect my Facebook lead ads account with Pabli Connect here I am going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection I am going to select add new connection. If your Facebook account is already connected with Pabli Connect then you can click on select existing connection. Now I am going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I am going to select my Facebook account and authorization is successful. Now moving forward here I will select my page which is as Polycrafters and after that it is asking me to select lead gen form. So here in my meta business suit you can see all the lead ads form which I have created for my use. You can create your own lead ad form as per your need. Now moving back to Pabli. Here I am going to select my lead gen form as Polycrafter lead form. So here I have selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect then you can select all lead gen forms. Now moving forward here I am going to click on save and send test request. So now here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response that means here I need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission let me take you to meta for developers. This is the home page of meta for developers from here I am going to click on this more and from here I am going to select tools. Now in this developer tools I am going to select lead ads RTU rework tool. So here in lead ads testing tool I have selected my page and my form. And now to submit a new lead I am going to click on this preview form. So here in this lead ad form I have filled all the dummy data and now I am going to click on this next and then submit. So now you can see it says your test lead has been sent so now let's move back to Pabli. So here you can see we have received a response with full name, email, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. So now let's move to our action step. Here I am going to choose my action application as Google Sheets and my action event as add new row because I want whenever a new lead is generated automatically the data of that lead should be added as a new row in my Google Sheets. So now to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect here I am going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection I am going to click on add new connection. If your Google Sheets account is already connected with Pabli then you can click on select existing connection. Now I am going to click on this sign in with Google. Here I am going to select my account. 
and now I'm going to give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. Now moving forward, here it is asking me to select the spreadsheet. So here I've already created a spreadsheet named as Facebook Leads and here I've entered the fields which I have created in my form such as name, email and the phone number. So now moving back to Pabli, here I will select my spreadsheet as Facebook Leads and now I will select the sheet as sheet 1 and now moving forward it is asking for name, email and phone number. So basically these are the fields which I've entered in my Google Sheet. So now instead of entering the data manually in these fields, I will map the data here. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here we will map the data from the response we have received in our Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to map the full name and for email I'm going to map the email and same with the phone number. So here I'm done with mapping the data and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. So here you can see we have successfully received a response. So now let's go and check our Google Sheet. So here you can see we have received a response where we have received name as demo user, email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and the phone number. So with this we have successfully set up our automation. So now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So now to test our automation we need to do a test submission that means we need to submit a new lead and for that let me take you back to lead edge testing tool. So here in lead edge testing tool I need to delete my previous lead in order to create a new one because it says you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here to delete a lead I am going to click on this delete lead. After clicking on delete lead, I'm going to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. Again here I've selected my page and my form and now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. Again here I've entered another dummy data with the full name as test lead, email as test at the and a phone number. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. So again it says your test lead has been sent. So let's check our Google sheet to check whether we have received a response or not. So here in our Google Sheet, you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the name as test lead, email as test at the rate and a phone number. So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. So now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as Google Sheets so that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically the details of that lead should be added in our Google Sheet as a new row. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any query, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can contact us on our website that is www.pabli.com. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.